Hi friends, color fastness against light is the color resistance of all kinds of textile materials with artificial light representing daylight. For this test, we use the color fastness against the light device that has Xenon Arc LAM, a filter system with 7 units of 1R filter to filter light a standard thermometer, a sample holder, an opaque cardboard for preparing the sample, a mask and some blue standard reference wool from 1 to 8. The sample is laid out on a smooth space. A sample of 1 cm by 4.5 cm is cut. The sample is properly marked. If our sample is made of yarn, it is rolled out horizontally on an opaque cardboard. If the material is fibre, it is rolled in a bundle form and punched to the opaque cardboard. If the material is printed fabric, the samples are taken from each of the different colours. In this method, more than one sample are tested together. There are five types of methods, but the method by which more than one sample are tested is the method number two. Placing the prepared sample into the holder apparatus, we cover a specific part of it with a mask. As you can see here, the place exposed to light remains uncovered. To prepare standard blue wool for the sample, firstly, we cut a sample of 1 cm and 4.5 cm from the reference 1. We make sure that the size here and the size of the prepared sample are the same. Their being the same size will facilitate the evaluation process. We cut the drawn sample along a straight line. We punch the first blue wool reference that we have prepared at the initial point. We punch our blue scale numbers 1 to 8, which are prepared in this way, onto the opaque cardboard with the same ones in the same size. 
In the method number two, we have the opportunity to test more than one sample at the same time. And the section that has been exposed to light with a mask is left uncovered. The prepared test samples are placed into the device. We place the sample that has been prepared to assess color fastness against light to our device. The filter system to assess color fastness against light comprises of seven 1R filters and a heat filter as a glass cylinder. We place the reference sample we put in the sample holder earlier in the device too. We place our device in clips without leaving any empty space. In this, the method which we have explained, we have the opportunity to test more than one sample together. We check out the parameters that we set. For this, we make sure that the temperature does not exceed 50 degrees Celsius, that humidity is 40% and that there will be no sprinkling and we take the energy to be at 42 for the best control filter. The start button is pressed after setting the total time period. The tolerances are checked and the test is started by pressing the start button. Whether the humidity is 40% or not is checked by a red moisture control light. The test is ended when four equal discolorations occur according to the four blue wool scale up on the customer's demand. When setting the time period, it is expected that each of the blue scales will fade in a period twice more than the previous one. The test is terminated when a fading that is equal to number 4 on the grey scale occurs on the reference blue wool number 6. In the test, the specimen exposed to light over the same period of time the tone difference between the section covered with a mask and the section exposed to light are compared with the blue scale. One means the worst and eight means the best result on the blue scale. Interval values such as five and six can also be given.